what's happening next buddy yeah so i think um for me let's see so obi-wan uh has been saved gets past the battle we, we make it through leia is now in the hands of reva and they're gonna go somewhere is she gonna take her is she gonna take her back to the other inquisitors or do you think she's gonna take her alone maybe to her own spot see i kind of think she's not gonna go back to, to the inquisitors and she's gonna take her somewhere uh where she has the air quote high ground and things are kind of on her her terms if that makes sense sort of a bait to to draw obi-wan there and as you said in your theory maybe to kind of draw vader there as well for for a kill of some kind i think we're we're all you could go different ways on it right she takes her back to the inquisitors takes her to vader which would be crazy right. and i'd be dangerous right for him to possibly sense that she's force sensitive it's a bit, it also i mean again it's not like it's a um like she's radiating force energy but she is doing stuff with the force clearly 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 because she's so, she's been like sort of reading people's minds right so there's a risk right in taking her to vader surprised i think reva is so kind of consumed with anger and stuff that's going on that maybe again she's not noticing it i feel like the adults are dealing with a lot of stuff and they're not really noticing how much potential leia has but we the audience are going like oh my god it's clear so i think that's going to happen and then kenobi is going to kind of rendezvous maybe he's got to go get healed yes he's got to get healed up so i'm thinking maybe reva takes I'm thinking Reva probably takes Leia somewhere and begins, like you said, to interrogate her or something. Yeah. Vader is going to be pursuing Obi-Wan and um, is it Roken? Rockin? Yeah. Is that her name? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think Rockin and Obi-Wan are going to go somewhere. Yep. Yep. Um, she's going to take him to some base. And remember, she just saw a thing where she had a bunch. She knew that there's a bunch of force sensitive. So maybe they take him some maybe she takes him to some place where there actually are not necessarily jedi but force sensitive people that would be really cool because that's what i was thinking is that she's in in tap with all these different you know connections again we mentioned right. earlier uh the, that could the, re that could reinvigorate obi-wan's belief that maybe the jedi aren't all dead uh yeah right right exactly there's more of them out there it's just something else so the, the jedi who passed through the safe house are headed for the planet jabim or jabim something like that i can't pronounce it but that is a planet that is featured in several now non-canon clone wars era comics and those were like a site i guess they, they were some fierce kind of like uh battles there or whatever and uh, at one point obi anakin ventress are there so that's kind of cool that it's just that it's just there we don't know exactly what kind of um setup that they've had there because the, she says all past or all of these routes like whatever whatever route they take they end up in this safe haven and quinlan was a part of that so you think maybe he has a conversation with Quin quinlan voss or something like yeah or he sees something that is happening with with, with uh younglings or or children of the jedi children of the force because we know it's it's hard to kind of explain there is no real story for what happened to all of the children who are born like ezra bridger right born uh, around the time of the empire they're force sensitive there is no jedi to go out there and kind of find them and bring them in or people aren't aren't saying oh my son is force sensitive let me take him to the jedi what, what an honorable thing there is no such formation other than, than the inquisitors for them to take him to so i don't know I, I would love and i would love 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 to see him talk to quinlan someone yes quinlan. that would blow up that would be, That'd huge. be huge. That'd huge. be huge. Now, Ventress, she is dead, right? But she and yeah. Quinlan were in love. Yes, yes, they were. So they had, they had, they had a romance. And I mean, he again went, kind of went dark side. He's, I think, he's probably going to be on a path of penance or repentance and stuff like that. And so he's trying to make amends by helping these 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 padawans um move through his story has to come to an end at some point so whether it's going to be in the video game like he's he's maybe killed in the jedi survivor game which is happening around the same time or maybe it goes on i mean we have no clue what they're going to do with the likes of quinlan boss and a couple other jedi council members that keep mentioning him like coleman kaj and oppo rancisis like far as we know they right. haven't mention those guys maybe their names get dropped too that'd be crazy so let's say we go there we get some healing he learns about this stuff but then obi's mission takes him elsewhere so it's almost like we get a peek behind the curtain as to what's happening right. and something else will kind of you know well i think stuff. yeah i think the other thing we're going to run into too is maybe this jabim maybe they sort of recanonize it and obi-wan and anakin were there because we know at some point we're supposed to get some sort of like flashback with like oh with hayden obviously playing anakin so my guess is it's going to have to be something to where because we know they're going to fight and then 
Obi-Wan is going to sort of escape slash maybe, you know, win the fight. It's going to have to be something where it's like he he does something that Anakin struggled with when he we were training. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's a certain saber move where and, you know, something that causes him to be a little overconfident because then that yeah. can tie into the line. When I left you, I was yeah. with the learner, but now I am the master. So it was like some, you know, something where it's like some sort of move maybe Anakin struggled with. He's like, I just can't do that, you know, and then he mm -hmm. thinks he doesn't need it. And Obi-Wan's like, eh, I have a few more lessons up my right yeah. it, it could be something very very small very whatever that gets referenced or was referenced that we were not thinking of right, right now that's because cool if, like if they went if they went to this battle then perhaps it could be something that happened while they were there you know and you get that flashback because he's on that planet Ooh, yeah, okay. if they had gone okay. to this planet during the clone wars you could okay show it and then right right you i got gotcha. you oh gotcha. and then that's what causes him to let him think oh maybe you know this is what i can do to sort of beat him because he, then he's they're gonna have to they're they're clearly gonna fight again and obi one's gonna have to sort of beat him slash escape and then it's gonna go to i don't know and then well let we me ask you a question with leia and luke yeah so we've seen hayden wearing the jedi his jedi sort of robe are we gonna because there was a lot of thoughts and rumors that we might see like him in a flashback scene are you thinking right. that's gonna yes. happen i 100 okay. percent think we're so is that what you're, you're calling like 100 percent. okay i got you because i was thinking got it so maybe maybe he's he's maybe they show us that scene that very thing i get you now so they go to this planet and then obi-wan's like oh i've been here before we were here during the clone wars and then he is thinking causes flashbacks yeah causes a flashback and he remembers something when him and you know, because if you go look at a lot, a lot of the old Clone Wars cartoons, there's so many times where Anakin does something that's like a stupid yeah. thing, but it ends yeah. up working out and he pulls it off and Obi-Wan's like, ah, you know, that's a dumb thing to do. So right. he he's I think it's going to be something like that, you know, where it's like you flash back to them training and it's some move or something, you know, that Anakin like, let's just for example, not this is it, but it's like, say just in theory, like Anakin struggled with his footwork in like form three. Or sure, something. sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, something like that. And Obi-Wan's like, oh, you know, that's like in Batman again oh, mind your foot you know mind your footwork right and he yep yeah yeah yeah, to, yeah exactly it's got to be something like that and it comes back to sort of like you know gotcha and it's that master move um situation or just you know something where it fits that line later in episode four i like that i actually like that a lot right. so yeah, yeah. That, that would be cool